Six Suggestions on How to Develop a Winning Landing Page First, let's discuss why having a landing page is important. A lot of time and or money goes into directing visitors to a web page. If you have an excess of time you probably spend it on writing articles to direct traffic to your web page. If you have an excess of money, then you probably spend thousands on advertisements meant to send traffic to your web page. Whichever method you use you don't want to lose one visitor to your site that might be interested in what you are selling. You are going to want to continue the sales process by either recording their information, having them download an ebook, having them opt into a newsletter, or having them do something else that would continue the sales process. Now that we have established why we would have a landing page, let's discuss how to make it do what we want it to do. There are six suggestions that I will give that will help you to build a winning capture page. The first suggestion is to know the mind of your target market. Know what gives them pain and what gives them pleasure. Use the page to offer them an alleviation of what gives them pain or an offer of something that gives them pleasure. The second suggestion is make your page engaging. There are specific hypnotic words that you can use to captivate your visitor. One of those words is imagine. Why is this word hypnotic? Well, Cosmetric states that usually when you tell someone to do something the common response is to balk. However, if you ask someone to imagine something they do it willingly because they don't actually consider it as doing something. They view it as just a mind game, an enjoyable mind game. Cosmetrics points out that when you ask someone to imagine something you sneak into their minds through the back door of their imagination. Other hypnotic words given by Cosmetrics is you and because, the third suggestion is an age-old trick nevertheless I will mention. Take a look the type of landing pages that are used by your competitors. Notice the fonts and colors that they use. Take note of the incentives that they use to get people to take action. Note everything that they do and emulate them. As it is said, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. The fourth suggestion is to gain the trust of your site visitor. If you do not gain your visitor's trust, they will not feel comfortable interacting with your page. The best way to gain the trust of your site visitor is to give good content. Make sure that the information adds value while holding the visitor's attention. However, don't overwhelm them by giving too much information. Give only points that will gain your visitor's interest. The fifth suggestion is to get and keep the attention of the visitor. Do this by confirming your offer by using the headline. For example, 10 best practices for website testing, targeting, and optimization. Then use a subheading for further clarification. For example, featuring 10 techniques used by leading brands to lift website conversion and average order value. The sixth suggestion is have a clear call to action. Tell your visitor what you want them to do. Use big bold text to direct them and to leave no question in their mind what their next course of action should be.